Good afternoon everybody and big welcome back to our Wednesday live class here at Case Flair School. For anybody new that's joining us, my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flair School obviously. And we have Deirdre behind the camera and obviously Sinead, our virtual assistant. But obviously we depend on a lot of our followers to help with the tagging, you know, that way, or mentioning people. Or again, we depend on you, the public, is if you know of a supplier or a flower shop beside you that supplies some of the items, absolutely feel free to tag them. We're all about sharing here at Case Flower School. So first of all, before we get started, I'd love if people introduce themselves. So anybody that's watching, introduce yourself underneath there in the comments and let us know where are you watching in from. Obviously, we get followers from all over the world and we'd love to know what is the weather like. I know what it's like here in Dublin today, but what is the weather like around the world and around the country? So that can kind of get us started and get us warmed up. The other thing we would really, really appreciate is if you clicked share, okay? Either share it so that you can watch this video back another time, but also to maybe share in the likes of any Facebook groups that you're a member of, garden clubs or flower clubs. Again, we would really, really appreciate it. The reason, well, the, one of the reasons, we obviously come on live on a Wednesday to chat to you, the public, but also it's to build up our analytics and our following here across our social media platforms. So again, we depend on you to click share, give us hearts, give us thumbs up. Anybody watching there on TikTok, a couple of little stickers. And anybody that's watching on YouTube, again, a little bit of feedback. Feedback and interaction is what we depend on. So I have a hat box here today, but a hat box is more in the shape of a heart, okay? So just to kind of show you there, and it did come plastic lined already. So if you were watching before and you may have seen me using a bull bowl down inside the hat boxes, this is just an option, an odd time you kind of get that your box is already lined in plastic, which is absolutely great because it holds the water and it holds the floral foam. Now you can see there I'm using a full block of floral foam and I have a little bit of packing or wedgies as I call it, do you know what I mean, for kind of like filling in them kind of like awkward little areas there. Now with this arrangement when it's finished it needs to be kept watered and the best way to keep it watered is pour the water on top of the floral foam. A mistake a lot of people do is to kind of look for the little gaps where my fingers are there at the moment and they only pour the water in there, right? Well, then all that happens is the water is at the end of the floral foam. And naturally, when it dries out, it's going to dry from the top downwards. And the flowers are all at the top. So it's really important when you're watering the arrangement is pour the water on top of the floral foam and then water enough that there's two or three centimetres of surplus water in the bottom of the hat box. And then what will happen is the water can't actually, you know, gravity won't bring it down because you've already got the water in the bottom. So it is kind of when it dries out. People often say to me, how often should you water them? Every day. Keep water, surplus water in the end of the container all of the time. Now what I also have, or what I've done, is to the lid of my hat box, is I've added two lollipop sticks, okay? So this is just a little tip. If you want to incorporate the hat box lid, into the arrangement, just add two sticks onto it. Now I just have them sellotaped down. Looks a little bit messy, a little bit untidy, but you're not gonna see it. I'm gonna hide it as part of the arrangement. Now they're not actually lollipop sticks, they're actually waxing sticks. So you know, for any, well actually men get waxed nowadays as well, but any of the men or the women that go to your wax, waxers, is that what they call Wax people, beauticians, whatever, is ask them to have the couple of spare waxing sticks, okay? But otherwise, you can use lollipop sticks. Now again, if there's anybody watching there, if you tag the likes of Mr. Price or the Euro shops or the pound shops, that's where you'll be able to buy lollipop sticks. And anybody looking to buy the hat boxes, okay? There is a company called Evergreen Silk Plants. They're up in RD County Loud, and they sell a lot of these sort of floral sundries and he has a huge range, huge choice of different style and different color hat boxes. So again, if somebody can tag them there for me, put the at sign, Evergreen Silk Plants. And again, if Charlie himself is watching, maybe he might post a few photographs of the hat boxes that he has in stock. Again, we also have AM Floral Sundries. Somebody might tag them for me as well. So the at sign, AM 
floral sundries and again they would have a lot of items and you can buy them off them as well so you can put the lid in now or you can wait for a little while okay i'm going to add the lid in now and i'm going to put i'm going to actually just make them a little bit shorter the sticks okay i'm cutting them on an angle so that's not necessary okay Oh, there we go. And to one side of the hat box, I'm going to add this little kind of like heart lid. I've done this before and where I had it kind of like at the back. So I'm just deciding today to do it a little bit different. Now I have a great selection of flowers here today. This rose here is called Sweet Avalanche. Do any of you remember when Amy Huberman got married? Huberman, Huberman, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. When she got married, she would have had, again, somebody Google it, okay? She would have had a uh, sweet avalanche all rose bouquet it was absolutely stunning it was it was fabulous okay and it became so popular that rose from then onwards and eventually like the style bouquet of all the roses pushed together people called it the amy huberman kind of wedding bouquet but just something that you may not notice just at the back of the roses here these are called the guard petals. So if you imagine when a rose blooms, okay, so it's born, it's kind of like a bud. And then as it matures, it kind of starts to open. And obviously when it gets to the flower shop, it opens up that little bit more. Well, when it's born, that's the easiest way to explain it. There's these three, four petals up around the outside kind of protecting it, okay? And then as the rose blooms, then petals, they can always look tattery and untidy and a little bit ugly looking. And that's them there. And they are actually called the guard petals because they were guarding the rose when it was a brand new baby. And all you have to do is pinch them off like I'm doing there, right? And then the rose looks at, and there's a fourth one on this one. So it's always three or four. And there is your fabulous rose. If you ever want to give your rose a little bit of encouragement to blow, to, to blow open, blow into it. <sighs> kind of blow into it, you know, that way. And also you can do reflexing of the petals, which I'm not going to do to this particular rose, but I do have videos on YouTube. Now talk about free videos and free tutorials. For some of you that are watching here today, because we're always getting new viewers, okay, is we do have an online program that you can sign up to for free. And it's a video or it's an online program covering the conditioning, treatment, the popular names, the botanical names, the meaning of the flowers, the longevity of the flowers, what they could be used for and how you condition and treat them. We cover absolutely everything. And at the moment, we have over 60 varieties of fresh flowers and foliage classes added to that tutorial. And at the moment, you can sign up to it for free. In a couple of weeks time, when we have it finished, you'll have to pay for it. You'll get six months free access to it. So if anybody would like the link to sign up to that program, all you have to do is in the comments below, just say, can I have the link? Give me the link, I'd love the link, or just the word link, and I'll respond back to everybody later on. Again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post any And there is questions. actually a video about guard petals and stuff oh, in brilliant. that program. Yeah. Jesus, they're spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten. So as I said, today's class, like you know what I mean, I'm not going to use an awful lot of foliage in it, okay? So I'm going to start off by adding in a selection of flowers, and the first one there is our sweet avalanche. But another amazing rose that I have here. And this is from a company called VIP Roses. So again, if anybody is watching, any chance to do me a favor, do the at sign, and like very important person, VIP Roses. They're on Facebook, they're also on Instagram, and this is one of their amazing roses. And when they blow open, they are just spectacular, right? So I'm gonna use a selection of them, and I'm gonna keep the arrangement a little bit irregular, because again, I've done this heart box style before, where I've kept everything nice and flat. Where today I'm going to have some of my flowers up that little bit higher and some of my flowers down that little bit lower. I'm not going to follow any particular pattern. I'm going to keep it really easy. Depending on the season, I have some amazing peonies here as well. So again, I'm just going to add in a little bit of peony. And this is all just about selections and textures here at this class. I'm going to add more roses, by the way, but just kind of showing you what I have. I have a little bit of the Achillea. Now, the Achillea is great because it's a kind of a flat-shaped flower. Do you know that way? And again, I'm going to add a little bit, bit of it a bit higher and then a little bit of it a little bit lower. Just kind of like randomly through the arrangement. I'll add more of it in. 
I also have some astilbe, you know, and the astilbe is great, especially when I want to cover them lollipop sticks at the back there, you know the way, so I can add in a little bit of a kill, uh, the astilbe kind of like high up, but I can also add a little bit kind of like low down, and then I can also add a little bit of a kind of medium-ish, kind of hanging out kind of to one side. So again, just letting you see, very casual, no particular pattern. I would be hoping people that are watching will be well able to cover this, copy this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in a couple more of my roses, okay? Because I do want to kind of keep a, a lot of roses in this style arrangement today because I just think it's going to be really nice. And then I've used a lot of the fillers kind of in between it, you know, that way for kind of packing it out with a little tiny bit of greenery. So again, I'm using more of them kind of like VIP roses and more of our sweet avalanche rolls. I'll turn it back around to you now in a second. Montmart is, somebody's just asking what's the All name right. of the VIP. Montmart. Montmart, sorry, I should have said that. Yeah, that kind of purpley shade rose, because some people mix it up with the Memory Lane, which is another kind of lilac purpley rose, but the VIP are amazing rose. They're much, much bigger. So again, you can see, see the kind of like up and down kind of effect that I'm doing here with our roses. And again, I'm going to add in another little bit of a still bee. So it's really just kind of filling it in. So you might say, this is going to work out a little bit more expensive. Yeah, a little bit more expensive, you know. What about a little bit of sweet pea? We're definitely in the pink today, aren't we? I even have the pink jumper on. We should have had our pink background. Um, as you know, here at Case Flare School, I suppose our favourite shade is definitely pink. We work with a lot of pinks here at the school. And when it comes to autumn, I absolutely hate it. I still wear pink even with the black jeans. But um, when you go to your local florist, okay, look and see have they got like a mixed bunch of flowers. And once the mixed bunch of flowers, like the colours are kind of complementing each other. Do you know that way? You'll be well able to use it. You don't have to have the expensive flowers that I'm using here today. I have done plenty of tutorials with you where I've kept it, as I call it, cheap and cheerful. You know that way? So absolutely, there's no reason why you can't use the likes of carnations or chrysanthemums or whatever the flower that you happen to have in stock. Now while I'm talking, I'm not finished the front by the way, but just kind of here at the back, you know that I'm not finished it, to see the way I'm adding in a few little flowers in there at the back as well. So I'm a firm believer, I and mean, these are a couple of Veronica flowers by the way, I'm a firm believer in always hiding your mechanics and covering in the back of your arrangements, okay? And if you've watched me before in these tutorials, I often refer to it as the L one in the other bed. So if this arrangement was to go to a hospital, there is some poor L one in the far bed only gets to look at the back of the arrangement because I'm the young one in the other bed and the flowers were brought in to me. So obviously I'm getting the pleasure of looking at the flowers from the front. But as I said, that poor L one is in the back far bed and she's only getting to see the back of the arrangement. So I'll turn around the back and I'll just show you because she's going to be absolutely delighted with this. It's fabulous. So where I'm just filling in with just a tiny bit of greenery as well, just kind of like any little kind of tiny little gaps there just to fill it in. So you can see there the back of the arrangement is absolutely beautiful. And as I turned it around, I kind of seen a little bit of a gap at the side there. So I'm just going to add that little bit of a veronica in at the side. Now I'm not completely finished because I still have to finish the front of the arrangement and obviously in around the sides. And if anybody watching there has any questions at all, and um, just post all your questions in the comments and we will respond back to you. So now I'm back to the front of my hat box and again, I'm back to the textures. So I'm adding a little bit of Veronica. Some of them are low down and some of them are up that little bit higher. Can you see the way I'm working it? I'm going to use a little bit of the Achillea. Again, nice kind of flat shaped flare and it's a great one kind of for filling in kind of down low or again, filling in any of them little side gaps. Even though I have a little bit of silver Sussex cut up here, and I can use a little bit of that kind of for filling in. Sorry, Jeanette, somebody's yeah. just asking, how often do we start our Module 1 programme? Okay, approximately every two months, okay? So the best thing to do is if you go to the calendar on our website, so flowerschoolireland.com, is Celine watching there? One of the girls there, Jackie, any chance of tagging our website? Put the website details in the comments below. So if you go to, and do you know, Selena is that good, she might even put the link for the calendar. She might do. Okay. So if you go to our website, look along the buttons where it says the calendar, and if you click on that, it'll give you all the upcoming dates for all our future courses. Now, again, I'm not finished, but just to show you how this is coming together, just see with all our selections. Now, one of the last flowers I'm going to add in is a little bit of the September flower or aster as it's kind of more commonly known, I suppose, in the business. And the great thing about September flower, it's available the whole year round. 
like by its name you kind of think to yourself oh god you'll only get it in september but no it's available all year round i suppose the white kind of version with the yellow little center in it is probably one of the more popular varieties where this kind of like lilac pinky one you know that way is a little bit different it's not unusual do you know that way but it's just a little bit different and um so again if you watch our continue our um treatment video with all the conditioning of the different flowers i give you the full rundown on the september flower the different varieties you know that way and uh, again the treatment and conditioning what the meaning is and also how long the flowers are going to last because that's a big question people ask us you know that way how long will the flowers stay fresh like all flowers are different like some flowers last only five days some last seven days and then you have the likes of the lisianthus that can last 14 to 16 days our lilies our orchids can last up to four weeks and thoriums and some of the kind of more exotic type flowers they could last up to six weeks and then it obviously depends on the conditioning and um, the conditions are being stored in like again if it's in a hospital it's definitely going to be that little bit warmer do you know that way or again if it's in the summer time chances are your house is a little bit warmer and even if it's in the winter time chances are you have the heating on in the house do you know that way so that can again um, affect the longevity of the flowers so i'm just having a quick scoot around the outside there I'm just making sure all my kind of mechanics are kind of covered in. You can also use little bits of greenery there, by the way. So I do have little bits of the Silver Sussex cut up really short. And you see that I'm just kind of adding it in here and there, just any little gaps. Because I'm always pulling my own students up over, look at the cop on spot, you didn't do that. And I don't want any of them watching there today and saying, God, look at Jeanette, you didn't finish that, finish that off properly. So I think I have everything covered. So wouldn't that make an amazing gift for somebody? And as I said, even to put it on a reception desk, the back of it can look nearly as nice as the front. And um, on a bigger scale, and I have done this before, you could add in a little bottle of Prosecco. Sure, we all love a little, little dibble of Prosecco. Or even a box of chocolates, or one of them tiny little candles. You know the little glass candles? Again, you could always incorporate a gift into it. I really hope you enjoyed that class. Now, before everybody goes, please click share before you go. It's really important. Or even tag some of your friends who you know may enjoy this class. And I'd love to see you all back here next Wednesday at 12 o'clock for another free live class. If there's something you'd like me to demonstrate, post it in the comments there below. If anybody is looking for the link for the free course, post it in the comments below. And if anybody hasn't said hello or introduced themselves, Go on, what's holding you? I'll respond back to everybody tonight. Best of luck. I'm Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School.